This episode of Critical Hit is being brought to you by Harry's. Get your free trial set, including a razor handle, five blade cartridge, and shave gel. Go to harrys.com slash critical hit right now. That's harrys.com slash critical hit. I love interacting with every single one of you on Twitter and the comment sections on major spoilers and via email. And the one thing that I get a lot, the one question that I get a lot, and so this is a little behind the scenes stuff for all of you critters out there. The one thing that I get a lot is how far ahead of you are you on your shows? And that uh, answer is it really depends. So, for example, when we did the Call of Cthulhu campaign, we were I re- we recorded that in October and it was done in November because uh, many of the higher level Patreon members at patreon.com slash major spoilers were able to listen to, I would say, 75 percent of that series before it was even released in January. So in that case, we were months and months and months ahead. On the current game that we're playing, Sam's wonderful, weird Western tale that we're doing using Pathfinder. We are releasing, it looks like, episode eight this week, part eight of that tale. And in reality, we are right now at 16 episodes. And we've got more episodes to go. And so we are, you know, about two months ahead on our critical hit recordings. I still really I still release them uh, every week uh, and edit them every week because we have things like ads and comments and questions that people have that need to be addressed or just site update things that need to be uh, looked over. Uh, For some of our other shows, we go much further in advance. Someone asked about Munchkinland this week and how far we were ahead of it. And if you don't know what Munchkinland is, it's our other game podcast and show. It's a it's a board game podcast where we normally play Munchkin. But uh, in the last year or so, we've broken out into board games and we've been doing a lot more video stuff over on our YouTube channel, Major Spoilers Video. So go look for that, youtube.com slash Major Spoilers Video. We actually finished all of 2017 shows back in November of last year. So yes, we have an entire year's worth of Munchkin Land shows just waiting to be released. And we've already started recording things for 2018. We may be getting close to recording things Uh, or at least scheduling things for 2018 for Critical Hit. And my hope is, my desire is, that we have as much stuff in the can. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it means in the old film terms, you would shoot something and it would physically go in a can when it was done. My hope is that we have this in the can for you, ready to be released so that you don't have to go weeks without a new episode. Because there are times, like, uh, when schedules get busy where it might be weeks between times where we're able to sit down and record. Now, right now, everyone's schedules are fairly open, and we've been able to record probably about the last five weeks, which I think is really cool. Because, again, I like to have stuff ready to go so that we're not scrambling. Now, in the past, we've had shows that have come out literally the week that we recorded them, where we record on a Wednesday, and you heard that episode on a Friday. So why am I telling you this? Well, a lot of people write and ask, you know, how far ahead are you on your shows and stuff? The other thing I should point out is that if you follow us on Twitter using the hashtag critical hit and the hashtag creep it, uh, not creep it, (laughs) the hashtag keep it cryptic and sometimes hashtag sending, especially when we are playing uh, Rodrigo's game and we're doing our scrolls of sending, we will use the hashtag sending. Keep in mind things that we're talking about on nights that we're recording and we do record on Wednesday night. So that's the night to kind of watch for the hashtag. Keep it cryptic stuff from Matthew, myself, Sam, really everybody who plays on the game. Um, When you're seeing that, keep in mind that some of the things that we're hinting at, you may not hear for months to come, which I think kind of makes it a little bit more fun too, because uh, it becomes a guessing game or it might become that revelation moment where Suddenly you hear this thing happen in the episode and you're like, oh my gosh, that's what they were talking about months ago. If you are following us on the keep it cryptic, we're intentionally not telling you what's going on, but we are telling you what's going on. But because we like to record things months in advance, uh, it allows us to, um, to make sure that we have content for you each and every week, which is honestly something that we all truly enjoy doing is producing this stuff 
uh, for you. And I'm hoping that we can do it uh, long into the future. And I know we can do it with your help. And many of you, if you head over to patreon.com slash major spoilers, that's patreon.com slash major spoilers. If you sign up, we can bring back a bunch of other things. We can do more things. And I'll talk about how busy all of our schedules get maybe next week or in a couple of weeks. We'll get into the show in just a moment. But first, as I mentioned earlier, this episode is being brought to you by Harry's. If you haven't heard about Harry's, it is a razor company created by Jeff and Andy, just two ordinary guys like you and me and that person sitting next to you who were really fed up with being ripped off by uh, expensive razor blades that you had to ask somebody at the at the uh, drugstore to unlock out of a cabinet and get it to you. And I really think Harry's has, has fixed shaving. I mean, they bought a, a factory in Germany and they're able to get these really high quality blades at about two dollars a price compared to the four dollars or more that you're going to pay at the drugstore. I love using the Harry's blades. My wife especially loves it when I use the Harry's blades because it gives me a really good shave. And you should rub up there and she goes, oh, this is nice and smooth now. Not all prickly like when you have the, the whiskers growing out. I love the shave. I love the, the grip of the handle. I would suggest personally, now I know some people like the chrome handles and I'm, I'm sure that's the one that Harry's would like you to get, but I really like the rubberized handle because if you're someone that uses a lot of water when you shave, or if you're someone that shaves in the shower, having that rubber gripped handle really works best for me because it ensures that the blade is not going to slip. It's, I'm not going to get those nicks and those, those cuts. Now you don't have to tear off the little pieces of the toilet paper and put it all over my face because of the grippy handle, but be also because the blades that Harry's puts out are super high quality. I love these blades. I don't think I've ever been happier with a blade except for these ones by Harry's. And now you can try Harry's for free. Harry's is so confident that you're going to love their blades. They're giving you a trial set for free. All you have to do is cover the $3 shipping. Your free trial set includes a weighted ergonomic razor handle, five precision engineered blades with a lubricating strip and the trimmer blade. Ooh, the trimmer blade is really good too. The rich lathering sh shave gel, which I think smells really good. And you also get a travel blade cover. So when you go out on the, uh, on your vacations and excursions, you can just throw your Harry's uh, blade in the uh, bag with you and off you go. So, Stop messing around and get started shaving with Harry's today by claiming your free trial offer. It's only, it's a $13 value. For free, all you have to do is cover that $3 in shipping. So to get your free trial set, including the razor handle, the five-blade cartridge, and the shave gel, go to harrys.com slash critical hit right now. That's harrys.com slash critical hit. Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring this episode of Critical Hit. And now let us get into some showtimes. <laughs> Welcome to Critical Hit, a major spoilers real play podcast. I guess that's what all the kids are calling it these days. <laughs> you're it? downloading and sharing this episode with a friend. And really, I, in the last month or two, I have seen a number of new people jumping in and starting either at the beginning or coming into the middle of a of a, a new game and then saying, oh, I got to check out the rest of this. So <laughs> welcome to all of you new listeners. And if you are a new listener that was turned on to this show by someone who's a current listener, then by all means, please thank that person for us. Um, uh, we've got some we got some cursed people in the party, Sam. Mm -hmm. And we need to get this taken care of. Yeah, you could just let it go. See what happens. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> we could. Sure. I mean, you know, the unknown is always a great quest. Always. Yeah. Awesome. Raise your hands. hand if you say let him be cursed. <laughs> All sands. It's three and two. I'm, I'm, we'll I'm, my hand is raised. You can't see, but it's super raised. <laughs> yeah, but you don't get are, it. Are are there um like uh class equivalency levels in Pathfinder? Because <laughs> I don't like. Here's what I don't want. I don't want him to lose his monk levels because mm. monks <laughs> are badass. Ooh. So sure. I'm gonna vote that down if he starts. If like his hit, like if his like to punch die starts going down. <laughs> I think that means yes, Roderick. That would be telling. That was. <laughs> oh, he might gain like sweet negative level punches, like become a monk white. Uh, oh dear God, yeah. a level drain. Uh, or for you know, worse, you could just turn into a vampire. Uh, Who knows? Well, you never know. I say, I think being vampire is like the worst character decision ever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk! <laughs> oh, that's right, man. Rob, that was. 
<laughs> you know, from a guy who spent a whole season as a werewolf who didn't know it, you're awfully judgy. Yeah, werewolves are cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know Did you what? ever read those Twilight books? <laughs> Team Jacob. All the way. <laughs> We don't use the E word, but I'm about to use the F word. <laughs> Young man, how dare you take Steven's side? <laughs> Your mother and I are very disappointed. Sam, uh, let us uh, figure out where we're going next, please. Yes, please. What are you guys doing? I think we're going to go find a forest full of somethings. Okay. Find a forest, find a forest, find a forest full of trees. So you're riding out of uh, the port? Yes. Uh, I'm going to make sure they're like bandages and everything is okay. Make me a fresh pair of heel checks then. Okay. One for each? Yep. So we'll do Russell and then Eshin. Cute. So okay. that's an 11 for Russell. <laughs> <laughs> And a 13 for Ashen. Okay. All right. Laugh it up, fuzzball. You... I, was, I was really expecting to get worse when I laughed. <laughs> uh, you bandage them up? Yeah. I, I figured this side of it is not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. um, then I... Uh, take. I'll take a couple... I'll find some pieces of paper... And uh, write the following on them. So one piece says that, and the other one says this. Cool. Hand it to them. And then uh, be like, all right, here's what I need you to do until we get this squared away. And you do to call and respond this every I don't know, let's say hour or so. So one of us has to say it and the other one has to repeat the other one? Nope. One of them has to say the first line, the other one has to say the second line. Oh, okay, okay. Verbena, verbena. Look at the sheet. Look back at you. <laughs> Har. Ha. Har. Har. Dean. Dean. De. De. Ma. Ma. Ta. Ta. De. De. Nah. Jardín de Matatena. Jardín de Matatena. It's close enough. And uh, I'm going to... I don't know when the uh, uh, checks roll around. But I'm going to cast both uh, resistance and guidance on them, Neat. which are two separate types of uh, bonuses. Bonuses, bonuses to a save. So, cool. Sounds good. Those are both uh, zeroth level. Yep. Great. So I figure every time they do it, I'll just recast it. Sounds good. All right. So you guys ride out. Clip clop, clip clop. <laughs> are we clip clopping or are we cloppity clopping? Eh, well, we don't want to. It's whichever one makes sure that all of our horses has four hooves. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, are you guys taking the uh, trail to perdition, or are you try to go a different way? Well, we are looking for a forest. Yeah, is the does does Ashen think the forest is close to perdition? Mm-hmm. And then we might as well just ride to perdition and then go from there. Maybe we can ask around. Cool. 
Um, yep, your ride to British Inn passes relatively uneventfully, unless you guys want to discuss anything else. Mm. I'm good. Nope, I figured out where basically everybody in their party gets their superpowers, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Those tall, straw-looking plants over there are very good for shooting things, like you fill them with the liquid and all the way through. And then the tall, you see the ones over there that look like they have the, the little sausage on the end? Those mm. taste terrible. Don't ever eat those. Those are awful. But they will do really good if you have a runny nose. You, you, you crush them up and you inhale them in your nose. Mm -hmm. Also, nice. birds it's really like to eat them. The birds do. And also, if you, if you pay attention to uh, the small animals, when you see small animals, they, they will eat the plant and then they'll be very for a while. Those are good plants. But only in moderation. So, of course, uh, it is not just witchcraft. Uh, Nahuatl is a complete language, and it is a very uh, rich language. In fact, many words in English come from Nahuatl. For example, uh, tomato, um, mm. chocolate, and uh, coyote. And I'll just motion in that general direction. <laughs> that, that is interesting. I was not aware of that. Don's yes. ears perk up. <laughs> she trots over to Chema and his horse. I think you have a new friend. Oh. Uh, hello. Where we go, She like does a weird like kind of stands on her uh back paws haunches to like so that she her head is close enough for uh Chema to scratch it if he was so inclined. Yep, I'll lean over and scratch it. She leans into it, looks satisfied, and gets back down on her all fours. So you arrive at uh perdition. It is on fire now. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do we know of perdition? Uh, well, you were you were here on the way in, uh, so uh, yes. it's a you know, pretty small town that is uh, very much a way station between uh, Redemption and the port. Well, you got to go through Perdition to get to Redemption, is what they say. <laughs> that is what they say. <sighs> so, where is this this forest at? I didn't see anything. You have not seen a forest, but you're arriving at like the near the inn, which is right off the road. It hasn't been long enough that we would want to like hang out at the inn or. Find oh, yeah, a room it's been or... almost a full day's ride. Okay. So we do want to find a room. Yes. <laughs> or three. Yeah. It's basically a full day's ride between uh, Perdition and Redemption and a full day's ride between Perdition and the port. Okay. Almost as if someone planted the town here just for that reason. Almost. I suspect evil. Um, so we go in. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing we see some familiar faces. Yep. Um, so yeah, the innkeeper is there. And does everyone go in this time? I believe uh, Ashen didn't go in last time. That is true. Yeah, is it time to actually be going to bed or? I mean, you've got some time, like you could use some food and then some rest. I'll follow the others in this time. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the uh, innkeeper, such as she is, uh, Emily is behind the bar. Um, you again are greeted by uh, the loud sounds of a loud dog barking. Um, and then there's, uh, when you, you can, uh, she'll come to the door and offer to, uh, take care of your horses again. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, well, welcome, welcome back. I thought you all, uh, were <laughs> heading out, 
uh, once you'd finished your business. I wasn't expecting to see you all back so quickly. Well, we our business kind of kind of took a turn back towards redemption. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, uh, funny how that sometimes works out. Uh, well, yeah, uh, we've got still rooms, and uh, I've got some food on if you want to stay the night again. Mm-hmm. That would be great. Yes. I think we do. I will again take my meal in my room. Well, don't so sound so sad about it. <laughs> um, the, Clark, the Clark Kent Blues. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll do. Uh, you. When you guys get inside, um, the uh, there were a few other people that you kind of saw last time that you kind of recognize as people who are locals. Uh, most notable, there is a guy in a suit. Uh, he's got uh, slick backed hair, uh, black hair, and very neatly trimmed mustache. Uh, and he is sitting and uh, eating with um, a much burlier guy who's got like a cowboy hat on and, you know, leather jacket um you guys you know people who are perceptive can see this guy is clearly packing at least one gun so do we recognize these guys or do we not you do not recognize these two you recognize some of the other patrons but not these two they seem to be new Mm -hmm. are they wearing any like uh red uh boots or clothing or anything like that um not notably Okay. No, but they wouldn't if they were in here anyway. That's true. They'd want to stay undercover. <clears throat> I'll uh, walk over to the bar or whatever passes for a bar around here and uh, see if I can get some information about this forest. And I'll go uh, over and uh, take a drink. Cool. So yeah, the bar is a pretty simple kind of new wood uh nothing special and uh emily will grab you a uh bottle of whiskey and pour uh she's like two glasses Uh, sure sure and uh the guy in the suit is like uh and tap me off too sweetheart Uh, she's like oh yeah one one second sir um, and, uh, she goes over to him, uh, pours a little glass, is like, An- anything else I can get you? And she's is like, not unless you're offering some company. And she's like, uh, I got some, uh, other customers to attend to, but, uh, well, thanks, thanks anyways, though. And heads back to the bar. Oh. So, uh, we heard that uh, there is a strange forest near here. Have you heard anything about that? Uh, forest? Uh, you mean like the prickly pear forest? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, is this a local landmark? I, mean, I guess. Uh, where all there's lots of Pairs. I saw you uh, had uh, picked some last time you were, came through and gave me a hankering, so I went and picked some again. Uh, mm. That's the only forest around here. I see. I've got some frying up if you want it. Oh, yes, please. Oh, great. Do you think that's what he meant? With a forest? I don't think so. I'll take it's a, a moving a... cactus. What? Moving cactus. Is a moving cactus forest. A moving <laughs> cactus forest. Uh, as far as I know, the cactus stay put. Hey, he's the not disappearing cactus. Oh, oh. I have no oh, yes. idea what he's talking about. He's speaking metaphorically. Yes, it is a metaphor. Uh, you know how uh, I look at Eshin. Uh, 
South Carolinians are? Um, yeah, sure. She like uh, looks like she was about to pour Ash in a drink of whiskey too, and then doesn't. <laughs> Jess, that is that is probably for the best. I'll I'll drink the whiskey. How how is it? Uh, it's pretty cheap, but not terrible. Yeah, probably made by a local still. Yeah. But she does bring out uh, a few plates of uh, nopales that have been fried, and then she's got some like mango with chili pepper on the side. Wow, I definitely eat that. Yeah, she's like, "Oh, you like it?" It's uh, she like not just to uh, uh, M- Mr. Diaz brought them in. Uh, he's uh, uh, with the caravan, except for well, he likes to. Uh, and it, he's like, "Oh." It, Bad, bad back. Can't, uh, can't stay out with the caravan. Uh, have to, to come in to be somewhere civilized. Oh, well, thank you so much. These are a uh, wonderful reminder of home. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's what I trade in. People, people like to have a taste of places they haven't been recently. Are you your lot heading back to redemption then? Uh yes. Oh, excellent. So so are uh, so are we. What's your business in redemption? I don't believe I've seen you before. Uh we are trying to uh work out a deal to ship something to Mexico, but uh we uh, had some business in Los Brazos, but it kind of fell apart. So now we're heading back to Redemption, sort of to uh, reconvene, as it were. Ugh, Los Brazos is a filthy place. I can't wait till we can just bypass it all together. Mm-hmm. Oh, with the railroad. Yes, yes. The Great Mexican National Railway. It's going to be quite the innovation. I think so as well. So what, what do you trade? Oh, well, that is... Partially what we're trying to work out. Uh, if uh, there are things that you find farther north you can't find in Mexico, uh, definitely a sort of like uh, winter wheat would probably be good. Mm-hmm. We're still trying to work all that out. We're uh, essentially in fact finding at this at this juncture. Ah, speculators, entrepreneurs. I, I I like that. Glad to to see the spirits alive and well. Good. And uh, have you been running to this uh, part of uh, the country long? Oh, uh, you know, I don't actually usually come through here myself. I typically send uh, others to handle this sort of thing. The uh, guy next to him kind of rolls his eyes. Uh, but you know, there was this big affair and the Hesses told me that I had to be there for it and they needed a special shipment for the whatever's going on, some kind of fancy shindig. Um, and In Redemption. Then, hmm? Yes, yes. In Redemption. Oh. And I'll look at Russell. Uh, did you know about any sort of big party going on? Um, I. The only one I would know is the completion of the railroad. Oh, maybe it's that. No, 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 it wasn't about the uh, Palmer's Railroad. I mean, that, I, that's supposed to have already broken ground, but I haven't received any invitation about that, and I know I would. I'm one of his investors, obviously. Uh, some sort of delay, I assume, which is bad for business, bad for business. No, it's something else. Some uh, The other railway man. Uh, Miller? It's not, uh, it's not your temple, is it, Russell? No, we're not done with that yet. Are you talking Miller about person, Percy, I don't know Percy, much about him. Percy Miller? Yes, yes, Percy Miller, uh, the owner of the Coastal Railroad. Right. Yeah, he's he is um brought a lot of work into redemption. Um he's trying to expand his his interests in the area. Yes, apparently he has some kind of big announcement he's making uh 
I don't know the details, but he's looking for investors, obviously. And since I've already worked with Palmer and the Hesses think that I'm backing the wrong horse. Uh, it's also complicated when you get into these sort of transportation rivalries. But I see, can't say <laughs> that they can't coexist. And in, it in, uh, seems like Miller's going east-west and Palmer's going north-south. Right. Right. Well, good luck with that. Oh, well, well, thank you. If uh, if you're heading back to redemption, you should you should come to the party. You should uh, hear him out. If you're speculators, there might be work in it for you. Yes, we have to make a detour, but we are heading there as soon as that is complete. Excellent. Well, perhaps I'll see you there then. Yes. It was a pleasure to meet you. I'll extend my hand. He shakes it. He's got a kind of soft handshake. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friends call me Chema. Uh, very, very pleased to meet you, Chema. I'm uh, Abel Diaz. Uh, good to meet you. Is that A B E L? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about a a party. And uh, you said he was investing in the Palmer Railroad? No, mm -hmm. he has, Miller has his own railroad system, the Coastal Railroad. No, but Diaz was inv was one of Palmer's investors, right, Sam? Correct. Obviously, yeah. Okay. okay. So he is looking into possibly investing with Miller as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, this is I mean, it is interesting. If there is something big in town going on, it can certainly uh, be an obstacle and, or a diversion. We just have to uh, figure it out as we go. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking my, my whiskey. <laughs> he does love his bottle. So what do you guys do? Uh, I particularly uh, like all the particulates floating in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's real gold in there. Uh, probably just take it easy until it gets late enough. Cool. Eshan, have you... This uh, cactus that you... Is this the forest you're talking about? Maybe he it's interacted with force. a moving cactus earlier, which Alder said was a fey, a dryad, most likely. What if cactus forest? Is a dryad home. It would make sense. Mm -hmm. It seems like well, we've had worse ideas. Yes, it uh, it doesn't change the plan, although. It does maybe change exactly how I'm going to lace up my boots if we're going to walk into a whole forest of prickly pears. Mm hmm. Well, it may actually make our journey a little simpler as well. Why is that? Well, we won't have to literally traipse about and find a forest. True. If Eshin can take us right there in the morning, that would be best. Okay. We should probably rest and leave as close to immediately as we can. I agree. So we go and uh, go to our rooms, take our foods, drink our cool. drinks. Drink our uh, foods. 
Does uh, Ashen also sleep in a room, or does he go back out? Back out now. I'm gonna. Oh. Ashen, you should sleep in here. I need to keep an eye on you. I know you don't like it, but I want to make sure that nothing happens to you, uh, given current circumstances. Uh, you think that, uh, you know, you probably treated the wound as well as you could. Um. Yeah, I know, but I want to keep uh, reinforcing his saves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not, it would not be a good idea to, like, wake him up every hour to, um, you know, because then he won't actually get... True. Rest. Well, at least one of them is uh, our uh, guidance, I think. Well, it's one minute or until discharge. So sure. So you can just cast that on him before he leaves. Yeah. Because yeah, otherwise you're gonna run into the infection getting worse because you couldn't get sleep, and you right. can't get sleep. Right. All right. Okay. So we all get some sleep. <laughs> cool. Um, the, yeah, I'll, the I'll fill in the judge and what we talked about. Uh, so the food is good. Um, before you guys go to bed, actually, uh, uh, Emily or no, Emily? What did I call her? Was it Emily? Oh, no, it's Emily. Emily. Uh, Emily actually gives you guys um, a little bit of like just almost like a shot glass of like drinking chocolate with a little bit of chili powder in it and um, mm. nods to uh, Abel as like who, you know, smiles at you guys. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we'll yeah. toast it. He, um, like raises the toast himself. Emily, I have a, a, a question. Does, uh, does everyone coming from Perdition stop, or I'm sorry, from the port stop here in Perdition before going on to to Redemption? Uh, not everybody. I mean, there's plenty, like I said, you know, Abel's here with a caravan and they're all parked outside. He's the odd one out, aren't you? And he's like, sure am, but I wouldn't miss seeing your pretty face. Do you know, do you know Mr. William Greenwood from Redemption? I would guess that he may have... Stop through here many times. Yeah, uh, I feel so. Um, yeah, he's uh, glasses, um, tall, skinny fella. I believe so, yes. Uh, yeah, I've seen him. Do you remember him traveling through here recently? Hmm, maybe like a month or so back. He was on his way to uh, Mexico to conduct some form of business. Ah, right. That's right. Was he with his, um, was he with his wife at the time? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. Do you remember her passing through here recently as as well? Without him or with him? No, I'm afraid not. Okay. Well, thank you. No, of course. You know, she was she was a bit snobby, if you don't mind my my saying so. Mm. Didn't didn't like the food much. Mm. I mean, I know it ain't as good as you can get like uh redemption or bigger city, but eh, still she could have been a little nicer. Oh, this is fine. I don't think this is uh, any better than anything I had at Redemption. Oh, well, well, thank you for saying that. So you guys got some sleep? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Cool. And in the morning, you go to where you met Eshin last time? Yes. Yep. Sounds good. Eshin is not there. Oh. oh, great. Rob, did you get the email I sent you? <laughs> when did you send it to me? I just sent it time. to you like a minute right ago. Now. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Uh, yes. Cool. Hmm. So what do you guys do? <laughs> look around. I, I look for signs of a uh, lizard man having been here. Uh, make a survival check? I think so. And if you have any bonus from track, uh, you can add that. Yeah, I think I do. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, Russell, when you wake up, make me a new save. Mm. Uh, fort save? Correct. Uh, plus two oh, bonus. I failed it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, 
that's bad. No, that's really <laughs> bad. I rolled a right. one. <laughs> oh, no. I scream the words every hour on the hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does not do it. We roll a tie. That's the worst. All right, take four dex damage. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, let's uh, go over what that means. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, folks at home not used to... Uh, uh, for the folks at ability damage. damage. To ability damage. Uh, ability so, yeah, damage. ability damage is, unlike ability drain, is temporary. Mm. It will come back um, one per day uh, unless you are continuing to take... Uh, ability damage, which you currently maybe are. Uh, so take uh, on your character sheet at a, like a temporary minus four modifier to yes, your dex. Yes, that's what I did. Great. So it's going to penalize your dex in every way. So it will penalize your AC, your dex related skills. Ah, uh, okay. Right, uh, but it's and- going to penalize it by two, <laughs> right? Yes, because it is uh, minus four. It is, it's actually not a minus four penalty so much as it's minus four to your uh, dex score. So it's only going to penalize it by two to all of those things. Okay. Until it is dealt with. Well, the nice thing is we have all these electronic um, character sheet things that we've either found or people have recommended. So what I can do is I can just go in and add in that temporary modifier and it will update everything for me. Nice. I hope. I say. You said, hinting broadly. Did you- so yeah, basically the bones around where your cuts are uh, feel stiff and sore. Mm. And you're starting to see uh, like a more pronounced version of that, seeing your spirit through the skin. No. You got spirit. Yes, you do. You got <laughs> spirit and it's leaking. You. I was <laughs> world's worst cheerleader. All right. I got a 29 on my uh, fine lizard check. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he went that away. Um, you can track him actually pretty easily. He seems to have the, gone off alone um, to the east. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. Anybody like dragged him or anything. You just I just nope. see him walking over there. Yep. There's no, no sign, sign of a struggle at all. Okay. Hmm. Well, it looks like uh, he just headed out that way. Why would he do that? I don't know. Uh, Russell, how do you feel? Eh, not so good. Did you feel compelled to do anything? <laughs> not compelled to do anything, no. Mm. Then it may not have been a curse. I feel pretty cursed. Do you feel well. the need to drink blood or bite us or anything? No. Well, that's one good thing. Hmm. I wish I could do more for you, but this is not not my field of expertise. It's okay. Anyway, uh, does this seem to be roughly in the direction that we want to go anyway? Or did he just take off in a different way? No, that is the direction that uh, Emily had said your... um, Sorry, you... That where the cactus forest was. Okay. Well, this seems to be the direction we want to go in any case, so let us go. We will Sounds follow. Good. And we'll bring Ashen's horse. Can you track him? I can. Excellent. That will make this much easier. Yes, he does not seem to be concealing his movements either, so... He just seems to have gotten up and walked in that direction. Why would he do this without telling us? Mm. <laughs> I do not know. He It could be uh, some sort of problem that he is having, but he also is a um, willful person. So... he may have decided that it was a better idea to simply go on his own. Oh, it does seem possible. We'll figure it out soon enough. Although, keep your eyes open. Uh, If you'll recall, um, 
we have run into people that are specifically looking for me and I suppose by extension now us. So that would we'll, have been roughly I'll, four I'll, days ago, right? Uh, you're running with the gang. Let me think about that. So it's like one, two, yeah, about four, three or four days ago. Okay. It seems like six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> It's given him plenty of time to respawn at the ambush point. We're going to have to fight him again. <laughs> the blood moon rises. Hopefully we can just press X and skip it. Yeah. Right, so so I'll, keep, I'll keep tracking Eshin's uh, travel. Um, it is not that hard. Uh, except for that eventually you come to... Oh yeah, that's a cactus forest. It's hmm. basically there's just kind of like scrubland um, and a few other like plants and then just really densely packed um, uh, prickly pears uh, with some barrel cacti the, that seem to be like shedding shade on the on some of the smaller prickly pears. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it is a pretty significant forest. Um, and what do you guys do? And we Eshen. Sell where Eshen is gone. Yeah, that's a good call. Eshen! Should we look around the perimeter, see if we see any tracks coming back out? We can. I'll uh, start heading. I'll pick a direction and start heading that way. Cool. Start uh, around the edge of it. I'm going to use my cursed brother sense. <laughs> and see if I can sense my cursed brother. <laughs> what? I'm just what are kidding. You? I'm just kidding. Okay. I was going to say, is like, that is some ability that I... They're, no. they're okay. cursed bros. They're, they're, it's like we're both cursed, cursed so different. we should be able to sense oh, one another. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, we're we're going to pick him up and use him as a dowsing rod. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if his head dips towards the ground, we know that Eshin is there. Yes. Um. So, yeah, you get to a point where it looks like... Uh, you think that maybe Ashin went in? It's it's weird because you like you get this uh, you follow the trail and it's very clear, and but then there's nothing that like leads into the forest. Like you would think that Hessian would have like knocked over some of these cactus, mm-hmm. um, but they seem to like be entirely undisturbed. Um, so as you start walking around the perimeter, you do find an area that looks like it's been um, a little bit trampled, and mm-hmm. there's. Yeah, like a sign of like you think someone uh, that got some like blood on a cactus, and actually, when you look at it even closer, um, you would see uh, like a scale. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at this point, um, everyone make me perception checks. Okay, Do I have a bonus to that. Nice. Uh, why would you have a bonus to it? I didn't know if we have bonuses. Well, I, I think he means like a skill bonus or something. Oh, right. oh I yes. I do. Yeah. yeah. Smart. So he's just like looking at his sheet and trying to figure out what his bonus is. Sure, yeah. It's whatever your perception. It should be marked down there somewhere. It's like your wisdom mm. plus your perception skill. No, oh, wait for me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong then. Dang. So looking under my skills, I have a perception. Yes. It says a plus. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Correct. Yep. Man, I have untrained perception. Wow. That does happen. Yeah, it is not a class skill for you, so. Boo. Uh, Oh, that's everyone's stealth checks. Uh, (laughs) Because... Uh, Okay, cool. So Chema will get attacked in the surprise round. (laughs) Uh, As you guys spot, you spot Eshin and also some other things. Uh, Other things? Other things? Oh, no. (laughs) Looks like we are about to get into some combat, ladies and gentlemen, which (laughs) means we probably ought to take a break here, even though this was a shorter than normal episode. Because I have a feeling with everything that we just saw pop up on roll 20, <laughs> this is going to take a while. We're in a very prickly situation. <sighs> wah, wah. 
Thank you so you, much, everyone, for downloading no. and sharing no. podcast at Majorspoilers.com. And until next time, here's hoping all of your dice rolls are critical hits. This podcast is copyright 2017 by Major Spoilers Entertainment, LLC.